Hi, this is the part two of the nursery bridge. So part one can be found in this tab, the YouTube tab, and I have put the link onto here already. So if you haven't seen it, please look at it. So I've, uh, last video I've ended on talking about making appointments. So each appointment will be counted as one. And the criteria for making an appointment is having, uh, let me just make this a bit larger, is having the A colon, because all of these formulas is counting A colon. Yeah, so when you actually have appointments, it will be um, totaled up in this section here. But eventually, as um, you begin to use it, I might even do another tab to collect every single tab's appointment, how many appointments you have made. And uh, this could be summed up in one tab. And then later, if you have got multiple of spreadsheets, this data can be collected and you can see for the entire week period or month period or training period, how much appointments basically how how many a colon you have on each tab yeah but um that will be something <clears throat> in the future possibly so now that we're talking about the appointments if you scroll down i have got the location of the appointments now this idea come from this spreadsheet or rather this document a, a partner have created Louise is, is a nice document and what I've done is I have incorporated that idea but I'm actually doing it um, like this so you have got the days here okay so you will always run in the first day of the month you have got the morning slots lunch slots and then afternoon and um, the actual um, appointment start time will be listed pair table and you see at the moment is in April April the first line which is the fifth line here is closed so if I actually just go like this and change it to another month May and they'll go back to the desk Right, you just hold on one moment and all of these will change. Now, the fifth line is no longer closed because it's not a Sunday. And you, you can see the, um, the closure is here. So it's actually reading what you have selected on, on here. Yeah, the purpose for me to do this because I want to make one template you can use it for every month you see so i've programmed it to be like this and the actual structure is actually based on the tab number you see all of these are up to 31 so that is actually the anchor for the formulas so you might think this is going to be a bit um schizophrenic but it's not okay so it's very important for you not to um change this into 1st of May okay so if you actually change the tab names you will create um, chaos because all of here will, will become like um, error here you will just need to start typing in uh, the people who is having the appointment I think that's the name and then maybe Teresa here. So this is the 11, it's on the 11th tab, and we go back to the desk and find 11. And as you can see, the data is filling in. So you can actually use this to see what appointment slots been added. So this is the morning slot that is filling up. So let's go ahead and do some 
um i mean this person is not even working so i don't know why i've done that yeah it's very bad i mean so um let's just say this person is having a appointment a merger cell and delete that and type in a and this person is going to i'm using colors for people's surname so this person it will be using desk one let's just say so desk one at one o'clock okay so i think that is nishan i've got the right name yeah nishan and again it will be added to one appointment so you've got three appointment in this day and we go back to the desk nishan yeah, this desk is being used up. So therefore, this particular page is actually um, read only because it's reading from uh, all these different tabs and it's summarizing what it is, um, what, what information you have here. Very important that you don't start to insert a column or delete the column or merge the reason is for um i have program this so that um it's reading from h i so we'll go back to 11. Um, i'm actually picking up data from h and i so h column will always be the time and i column will always be the name so if you actually input um an extra column it will displace the information. Can you see it's displaced? Yeah, please don't do that because um, you're just making everything um, doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So this is what um, you have here. Now I'm going to show you how to delete an appointment. Very easy. You just unmerge the cell and then drag the formula back through. Unmerge the cell, find a, the one with a formula, go to the bottom of <clears throat> that cell and drag this one as well. Drag. And that's how you um, replace the formula. So quickly to tell you that you've got a filter button here. When you deselect the cross, you will see people who are actually working on that day. So I recommend that you use this um, when you start to print out, just in case some people are doing overtime and you just um, prevent them being loaded on. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye.